Hey guys, this is Carl from CarlSapsy.com here with another tutorial. If you have any questions about my videos or anything in general, uh, head to my website and you can message me via my contact me page. Or if you want to just leave me a message down below in the comment section and like my videos and subscribe to me if you want to. So what we're going to be looking at today is how you can use VirtualBox to become or how you can make VirtualBox full screen if you're using VirtualBox. So currently obviously I'm using a uh, Mac OS but if I use VirtualBox normally I'm using a Windows 7 Ultimate version and I took a quick screenshot of what the normal size is. So it's quite a small little square so it's not very efficient and it just it's just not very good to be honest. So the aim of today is to get from this kind of size to a screen that's this size. So this is the virtual machine that I'm using now. So this is the size we want to aim for, so let's go ahead. So first of all go ahead and open up your virtual box and click start. So I'm assuming that you already have installed VirtualBox and you've already installed the ISO for the Windows 7 or you've got the CD for it, either way. So this should load up fairly quickly. Yep. And as you can see mine is already in full screen mode. So this is what I'm going to be showing you today on how to do that. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go to Devices and you're going to go all the way down to insert guest edition CD image. Now as you can see nothing's happened. So what you're going to do is you are going to go to the file explorer or the windows explorer and go to computer and here you'll see under devices with the removable storage you have another icon which says in your CD drive a virtual box guest editions double click that, accept the permissions and exit the Windows Explorer and you'll have a Oracle Virtual Machine Guest Editions for 4.3.14 setup so click next, save it wherever you want to, it's only it's a very small file, it's only 474 KB uh, click next, um, you can enable direct 3D support for guests However, it's since it's still like experimental, I wouldn't really bother with it at all. Click install. Sometimes this can hang. However, most of the time it's completely okay. And once it finishes um, installing and everything, click reboot now. And now let it reboot. Now when you reboot it, it'll appear directly in full screen and it will appear exactly as how mine was in the first place. Now if you want to make this completely full screen what you can do is you can go on to view or oh, first of all just click X out of this click view and then you can switch to full screen and you can just click don't show this message again but click switch and now my Mac OS is running a virtual machine in full screen with Windows 7 Ultimate. Okay, so there you go. Uh, if you have any other questions, do let me know. Um, otherwise, please subscribe, like my videos, and thank you very much for watching. This is Carl from CarlSapsky.com.